Tonight, we've got Mark Halperin, uh, author, a co-author of Double Down, uh, Game Change 2012. We're going to talk a lot about different candidates that might be running now again in 2016, but I'd like to start with President Obama because for us, we really try to understand how he interacts with Congress. How do you see his relationship with Congress and what you particularly saw as he approached running for a second term, and how did that affect what's happening today? The president has not put in the time to build the kind of personal relationships that politics, pretty much any business requires. And we're seeing the effects of that. They don't, they don't fear him and they don't really like him. I think that the, the, the story of his time as vice president from here to the end of this term is going to be a fascinating one as he grapples with whether to run. I'm strongly of the belief that he will not run if Hillary Clinton runs. Um, I think the only way to run against her sensibly is to really go after her. And these are two people uh, who really like each other. Uh, in fact, we report in the book that they um, would often end phone calls with each other by saying, I love you. Now, that is very uncommon in politics. Like, <laughs> not, not even the Cheney sisters end their calls that way. Do you, do you think that the, fro the, the, the Republican field is, is similarly frozen, waiting for what Jeb Bush is doing, waiting for what Mitt Romney might do? The Republican Party in the modern era, post-Reagan, post has always had by now in the, this part of the cycle a obvious front runner who's an establishment figure who becomes the nominee. They get scared, greater or lesser scares, you know, other establishment or non-establishment people get in, but in the end they're the nominee. There's no one like that now. Can you put them on halftime of Monday Night Football, meet the press and the Tonight Show without their staff holding its collective breath throughout the appearance? Yes, you can with Jeb Bush, and there's not many other people in the field who can do that. One of the most frequent questions I get is, you know, gosh, Washington is so broken. Is it possible this will ever get better? Will it ever get fixed? I particularly laugh when I get it from some, say, conservative who says, you know, President Obama is a horrible socialist. He's born in Kenya. He doesn't know what he's doing, undermines the military. And why can't people in Washington get along better? Why does there have to be <laughs> so much partisanship? Um, and I heard the same thing from liberals when President Bush was in office. I think our chance lies in if Congress is controlled by the opposite party at the beginning of a presidency and the person's instincts and political judgment is, I got no choice but to do things in a bipartisan way, risk alienating the base. I would say today that I think Democrats will lose the Senate uh, if, if it were today. I think they would, and I think they may lose 10 seats um, if there's a national tide, and I think there could be. I think we're going to open it up to some questions. The question was, is, is Double Down available on Amazon right now? <laughs> is that a, a good paraphrase? Yeah. Yeah. It is available.